Hey guys, how you doing? It's here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Sunday. And today I want to go over um, some information on helping you break into cybersecurity. Obviously, if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. So today I want to go over um, how to break into cybersecurity. Uh, obviously, I work in security now and I just want to try to help you as much as I can. If you don't agree with me, let me know in the, in the comment section. But this is just based on my personal experience, based on people I have spoke to and interviewed and people that I work with in cybersecurity. So let me share my screen with you. I have a whole presentation I want to go over and we'll get started, okay? So share screen two. All right, today is about breaking into IT and cybersecurity. Um, all right, so fundamentals. So a lot of people that are brand new to IT, if if you're brand new to IT, you, please for the love of God learn fundamentals. A lot of people that are trying to break into cybersecurity they don't know what an operating system is. They don't know about networking. They don't know about hardware. They know absolutely nothing about fundamentals. So then when they go in, into a cybersecurity job, they think it's just all hacking or think about opening up a terminal and running command line. Like, it doesn't work that way. Like at the end of the day, like what you see in the movie is not like that in the movie. Just, just saying like some of these movies, they portray like cybersecurity, like all hacking and stuff like that. Really? No, it depends on the job that you're going to go into for cybersecurity. There are like a lot of jobs online. It's not all hacking. It really depends on some of the jobs you work at. So besides talking about hacking, please for the love of God, learn fundamentals. Like a lot of people skip on fundamentals. Like you need to know about networking, understand how things talk to each other, understand about IP addresses, DNS, DCP, understanding about LDAP, Kubernetes, operating systems, Windows, Linux, how do things, how do things talk to each other? So Please, for the love of God, learn the basics first before you jump into something crazy because I don't want you being lost. I also don't want you getting in trouble in your job. I also don't want you to get fired in your job because you don't know how to do your job. So learn the fundamentals first before you dive into something for a cybersecurity job. Before you dive into those certifications, please learn the basics first. And I'm going to tell you how to do it. How to do it. Like, What's the right way of doing it, if that makes sense? Obviously, I do cover fundamentals. If you don't want to watch my videos, there's Professor Messer, there's Mike Myers, there's Jason DeLon, there's Tech G. Like a bunch of people cover like A plus, uh, Network Plus stuff. Like you don't need to have CCNA uh, unless you're working for a company that is specifically asking for that. You don't need to have a CCNA and in, in cybersecurity. Just Network Plus should be more than enough. I just go and get that book and read that book. Understand like networking in fundamental land, like fundamentals and you should be fine after that you don't have to know everything about networking just like the basics right for the job that you're doing it really goes back to what job you're doing as well like it depends on the job right so some of these jobs may may require you to know networking some of these jobs may not require you to know networking so it really depends on the job but i like to i like to go back to fundamentals because you, sh you should know fundamentals whether it's it or cybersecurity. okay go to the next slide um don't go all over the place so these are these are those people that i have trained like I have a friend of mine that works identity access management and literally like the students that I train, like they go over the place. Like they, they go and study security plus they stop security plus halfway and they go into try hack me. Then they go and do something else. I'm like, what are you doing? Like stop going all over the place. Stop doing that. Focus on what's in front of you and just do that. That's it. If you're studying security plus go for it. If you're studying CEH, go for it. If you're studying for CISSP, go for it. Like do, do focus on what's in front of you. Do what's in front of you. Stop doing something halfway and then going into something else. It's not, you're going to get, you, you're at the end of the day, you're going to put yourself in like, a, you know, like a, a a wormhole of things. Like, don't do that. Just focus on what's in front of you and then and then go based on that and figure it out from there. If that makes sense. Don't go over the place. Hopefully this, that makes sense. Okay. So a lot of, a lot of people that, I, that work in IT or are trying to break into IT or trying to study something in IT, they do this a lot, by the way. We, we, we go and do try hack me. Oh, let's go do this now. And, you know, don't, don't do that. Please don't do that. Okay. Obviously, I always talk about this one, create a plan of action. Now you know your fundamentals, you know you're you're strong in your fundamentals. Like I said, like if you have strong fundamentals, you'll be okay. It's like building a house. You have a strong base, have a house won't fall apart, you'll be fine, right? Time to focus on what you need to know. So now let's do, do some research online. Like for me, for example, when I went, I, I researched for identity access management. I already knew I need to know I needed to know about Octo. I needed to know about SSO. I needed to understand about uh, Kubernetes and authentication. I needed to understand about AD hardening and service accounts. So like you have to figure out what they're asking for in the job market and then go based on that. That's a key indicator of what you should focus on as far as learning is concerned. And also it's a key indicator as to what home labs you should create based on what you see in the job description, if that makes sense. 
and also figure out what search you need for that role. So some of these roles will ask for Security Plus. Some of them will ask for, I don't know, CEA, CISSP. Um, like the advanced roles will ask for CISSP. Not, not entry level. I hope not. Like, I mean, this is thing common misconception with entry level roles and the job market makes no sense sometimes. You know, I, I get annoyed by that, but you know, it is what it is. Um, talk to someone who already has the job that you're doing. So go on LinkedIn and reach out to someone who's a SOC analyst, reach out to someone who's a red team, maybe reach out to someone that is working in the role that you want. So literally build a genuine connection. Don't just message someone out of the, out of the blue about knowing who they are and what they do. Build a genuine connection first. Comment on their stuff. Talk to talk make, talk to them on their platform, on their LinkedIn posts, stuff like that. And then when the time is right, it will happen naturally. When the time is right, you will have an opportunity to talk to that person. So go on LinkedIn and talk to people that have that job already. So then you know what you need to work work on. You 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 could you could bypass all the headaches just by reaching out to someone that already has the role that you have. So then you don't got to kill yourself if that makes sense. But as far as trying to get a job, okay, I need to focus on this and that and this. I'm going to focus on a thousand things, just the certain things that they're, they, that he told me or she told me to do. So that's very important. It's like having a mentor basically. So that's very important that you reach out to someone and they'll tell you what to do and, and how to get that role. So just get grab all the information you can and learn from that person. Okay. Next slide. Networking. <laughs> I know you guys don't like talking to people, but yeah, join social events, uh, talk on LinkedIn, Discord, social groups. Sometimes it's not what you know, it's who you know. Like I went to a cybersecurity event this week. I'll put a picture here somewhere with my friends that I'm that uh, that I'm cool with, and I met other people as well. Uh, and people knew people with media knew who I was by by because I'm I'm always on LinkedIn. I'm always posting stuff. So please join social events. A lot of these managers are hiring like crazy. In these, some of these events, I went to the event this week and, and one of the, the head of um, cybersecurity, he wanted to hire me. Literally, he wanted to grab me and hire me. I said no to him because I already have a job, but I have people, I have business cards and I have people that I spoke to that are hiring right now. And they're looking for folks in red team, blue team, purple team. And it goes back to just putting yourself out there and just socializing and talking to people like you really got to take the time to get to know other people. And I know it's uncomfortable for everyone online, even people that watch my videos. I know it's not normal for you to go and talk to someone, especially people that, that just go and hide behind a computer, right? Like it's so hard to talk to people, but but you really got to socialize and talk to people. Like a lot of these hiring managers, they appreciate that, especially they'll ask you like for your resume or they'll ask for volunteers for a cyber event. Like I would definitely recommend you do volunteer in an event, especially when they have the events for call for papers and stuff like that. Definitely go take advantage of those events and volunteer. And then when, when the time is right, they'll they'll even they'll say, like, oh, this person was a volunteer for this event. I think you should hire this person. They'll ask for a copy of your resume. So those things are very important. Like I literally talk about this a lot, like socializing and networking, especially with LinkedIn branding. I'm gonna talk about that next, but it's very important that you really take the time to network. I'm gonna put all the cybersecurity events for 2023 in the USA. I'm gonna put it below in the description of this video. Okay. All right. And you can just go and look at all the events. Some of them are free. Some of them are not free. Some of them are paid. Some of them are not paid. You know, hopefully I see you in one of these events and we get to talk. Okay. Next one. Home labs and project work. Remember, uh, you get this, you get this catch 22. I have no experience. How am I supposed to get experience when they're asking for experience? It makes no sense. Right. So build a home lab. Remember talking about building a home lab and IT support. I, I have videos on how to build a home lab for IT support and help us. But this is specifically cybersecurity. So now build a lab for red team, blue team, whatever it is, right? You can talk about it in the job interview. So like literally, if the job description says Splunk and you set up Splunk on a home lab, you can talk about it in the job interview. Some examples of home labs, of people that cover home labs is Cyberwalks. Uh, Professor Rogers covers identity access management. Josh Matador has videos on this. Cyberhuntingguide.net has, has stuff on this, on home labs and blue team, red team stuff. Post your home labs on LinkedIn. That way, hiring managers see what you're working on, see what you're doing, stuff like that. Hopefully, that makes sense. LinkedIn branding. I know people here are not good with LinkedIn. Um, make sure you have a LinkedIn profile. Make sure the profile is tech-related. Enable the feature section so you could add your project work, GitHub labs, et cetera, et cetera. I have a few videos on LinkedIn branding. A lot of hiring managers look at social media like LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram. So it's very important that you take the time to Put yourself out there a little bit. Show hiring managers what you're working on and show them what you're doing. Show them what project works you're doing. Show them what certifications you just got. Show them what stuff you're studying and what you're working on. So those things are very important. When I talk certain people that I've spoken with on LinkedIn, 
they got their cybersecurity job through LinkedIn, literally, like because they got a certification. And and the hiring manager at the time was looking at their profile and oh, this person just got that certification. That's a check mark for HR. I want this person in, in, to work for my company. So that that really it does LinkedIn does help a lot. Like LinkedIn did not exist when I first started IT, just let you guys know. But now LinkedIn's kind of big right now. So like everyone uses LinkedIn to look for people online and look for look for um job seekers and stuff like that. So really take a, take the time to put yourself out there and take the time to build a LinkedIn profile. It does help you out. Uh, it, down the long run, it will help you out if you're looking for other jobs in the future. It's very important, okay? Next slide. Conclusion, learn your fundamentals, figure out what search you need for the role, build a home lab, brand yourself on LinkedIn, talk to someone who already works in that field, network with hiring managers, join social events, take advantage of free resources online and for cybersecurity, specifically cybersecurity. I don't want you paying anything. And I'll probably make a video on free resources for cybersecurity at some point. Um, remember that not all size fits all. Everyone's tech journey is different in cybersecurity. I see people go from help desk to cybersecurity, sysadmin to cybersecurity, network admin to cybersecurity, literally no experience just because they knew somebody, they got a job in cybersecurity. So you don't get going to WGU and they network in WGU and they got a job in cybersecurity. I seen someone get a certification and they got a job in cybersecurity. Everyone lends their own way in cybersecurity. Everyone's path is different. So don't compare yourself to someone else. You will get there at some point. You will fall in that rabbit hole of cybersecurity at some point. It takes time. Not everyone's not everyone gets a job in one day, in two days, in one week, in one month. Everyone's journey is different. It takes time, but it will happen at some point for you. You gotta have a lot of patience. You gotta have the right mindset and don't give up. All right. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. And I'm gonna share one more thing with you guys, and we should be done. So let me share screen one. So this is a website I was telling you about cyber career and job hunting. So this is like hands-on labs. It tells you how to create a home lab, um, create a home lab virtual box. Fire I'm going to put it below in the description of the video. Um, this is very useful, by the way. This is how you create a home lab. And then this one that I talk about um, in, um, in ICCS, this is a, a, tells you about career paths on the National Initiative for Cybersecurity Careers and, and Studies. This tells you the career path you should be taking, what you should learn. Like if you do technical support, right? Because you're technical support. Uh, it gives you like information and okay, now you could go into sysadmin. You click on sysadmin, right? So I'm going to click on sysadmin and close out of that. It tells you what functions you do as a sysadmin. So like here is, you see like identity access manager. And it tells you what jobs you can look for. So this, this. Gives you a really good idea, a rough idea of what, what you could work in in cybersecurity. So I'll put below the description of this on my video as well. And uh, that's it. So I'm going to stop sharing. That's it for me. Um, hopefully this helps you out. Um, with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. Take care. Peace. Bye.